walking off the edge of tomorrow. I'm walking out and shouting out into my asshole, I guess, because it's been so freaking long. It's been months, Paxi. What the fuck happened? What happened? What happened? I thought you were going to post every every month a new video. What happened? You broke the premise. You broke the premise, Paxi. I can't trust you no more. I can't trust myself no more. I was like, okay, so I'll tell you exactly what happened. What happened is that 2017 still has 2016-itis. It's really difficult to keep up with my own damn self. How about that? I got too real? Did I get too real? I probably got too real. But honestly, I just haven't had the time to actually record myself for these videos. This video was done and edited a long time ago, but to record myself actually talking is really tough. So I'm not gonna edit this video at all. I'm just gonna, uh, my voice I mean, not, not edit the audio. I'm just gonna keep all the flubs, all the breathes, all the clicks, all the snorting in there. And if you don't like it, you tell me and I'll edit it again. But if, if you're fine with this new brand new style that I'm gonna try and, and emphasize on and do because it's faster and lazier, honestly, it's kind of lazy and you don't mind the outside sounds and my shitty mic, then it's fine. We'll do okay. And we'll keep on doing the videos. I, I can find time. It's just not convenient time because I don't, I don't own a studio and I have a shitty mic, so every little sound that you hear outside, it's gonna be recorded. <laughs> And it's kind of embarrassing, I gotta admit, it's kind of embarrassing. But I'm going to be live streaming more at night. You're gonna hear the sounds of nature and people are gonna ask me, are those your birds? And I'd be like, yes, those are definitely birds. Also, hi kitty. Yeah. But I I've been away because uh, we wanted to clean up this house and I couldn't keep up with doing all of this. And I also needed more money so I had to take on more jobs and more commissions and it's been a busy life so we started out with painting the house and we were like i'm not gonna go up the roof again i'm not doing that again and i'll tell you this is a real story when i got to the roof of this house like i was years ago i went up to the roof and for some reason i felt a tickle in my legs and my brain shut off all functions and started whispering into my ear. And this is what it said. Jump. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> but it was so tempting. It was the most tempting feeling I've ever felt in my goddamn life. It was so damn tempting. I was like, oh, I feel myself moving towards the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> and that tomorrow is me dead. And I don't want that. So I was like, I better go downstairs right now. <laughs> And that's, that's my last time on the rooftop of this frickin' house. I, I just don't want to be in places where you can easily walk off the edge because my feet would just walk towards it like I'm an idiot, like I'm just some kind of, of turkey opening its mouth to the rain and choking on rain, you know? That's how I felt for the first time ever in my life and I just, I was so scared of it that I had to go down. I was like, I'm nope, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Nope, I like to live, thank you. And my brain just go, it won't hurt. I'm like, what is wrong with this brain? Am I, am I, is something wrong with my brain? Is, is that just morbid curiosity and everybody has this feeling? Because I, I never felt such power, power, such inability to con not control myself, not con control my, my, compul my, my impulse to just do something. It was like, going on a diet, being starved and, and feeling withdrawal symptoms and just eating bread all over again and breaking your promise to yourself as you cry into your bed going, I'm sorry, the carbs, they're addictive. You know, it was like that, but with falling off. I don't know how tall this house is, but it's pretty damn tall, so I would have had at least a lot of broken bones. <laughs> So I was like, no, no, I better go down right now. I better go down right now and not, not do something stupid because I feel myself about to do something stupid. So we had to hire somebody to, to paint the house. And I'm kind of glad we did that because he, he also offered to patch up the, the damage the, made to the concrete because it started raining so much and our rooftop was not protected last year. 
So last year we uh, we did the the we patched it up and we fixed it, and this year patched the the actual damage done to the concrete and they, they fixed it all up. It looks so pretty. It looks nice. It looks brand new. And I was like, yeah. But then my mom came in and she was all getting greedy and shit with her plans. And I told her, mom, we have a budget. We're not rich. You know, you know for a fact that we're not rich. <laughs> you live on a teacher's paycheck and I live on a freaking starv starving artist paycheck. So, uh, not a good idea to get greedy on renovating shit. And she was like, it's only this one thing. This one thing, mijita. Then, then, then it's over. No more spending money on the house unless we can. And then I was like, okay, what do you want to do? I want to change the whole kitchen. And I was like, bitch. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> She's like, I just, mijita, don't, don't, don't say that. Don't. You potty mouth. We're just gonna fix, fix fix the kitchen. We're gonna have a new stove. And I gotta admit, when she said new stove, I started crying a little bit because we haven't had a stove in five years. <laughs> I was like, stove? Let's do it. I want the stove. You know, that's the, that's a very adult feeling when you want a fucking stove that works. <laughs> so we got a stove. We got a new... Uh, a new refrigerator and everything. And that was like under, under 200, $2,000, right? $2,000, like the stove was like 600 and something. And the refrigerator was like a thousand or something. I don't fucking remember. But they're both good appliances. And I was like, you know what? This is worth it. We need this. We absolutely need this. It's not like socks and shit. No, no, no. I can live without socks. I cannot live without a stove anymore. That is not a luxury to me. And it's a gas one. It looks so pretty. It has like five. And I'm, I know I'm bragging on about shit that only adults get excited for. <laughs> but it's true. I'm very excited about this stove. And also the kitty won't leave me the fuck alone. Anyway, here's the thing. Here's the problem I have with this. It's been three months and the kitchen hasn't been done yet. Like, it, it's been a very slow process because again... We live in a concrete house. We gotta live in a concrete house too in order to survive hurricanes and shit. But that's not the most easiest thing to replace and renovate. And my my mom was like, can we get rid of this one pillar of cement? Because uh, it doesn't do anything. Can we like cut it off a little bit, make it a little bit more spacious so my fat ass can go through it and my fat ass daughter can go through it? And I was like, ma'am, you're right. Two people can't go through this hallway, but I think that's the entire point of a hallway at times. It doesn't need to be as big as a freaking hospital hallway, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But she was still very determined to renovate the entire kitchen. And it's been a whole month since they tried to get rid of the loseta, the, the, the tiles and shit. And it's, it's still not done. It's still not done. It's driving me nuts. We don't have a fucking kitchen. Before we had something resembling a kitchen. Now we don't have one. So I'm losing my mind. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video and I'm going to vent. This is what this video is all about. Just me venting. This, that you've fallen into my trap. If you're listening to this, you're just listening to me bust my ass about adult life. I hate it. Bring me back to the two early 2000s when I was a teenager. I want to go back. I want to go back to the past. <sighs> I'm having withdrawal issues. <laughs> I feel like going up the rooftop again. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I joke about that. That's really morbid. I should have joked about that shit. Anyway, you should go watch Castlevania with me. <sighs> I love that, that, that new show. I almost called it an anime and it's not an anime. Though it is an anime. Because, you know, Koreans still animate everything we do, unfortunately. There, there's no such thing as in-house animation for 2D anymore. What the fuck, man? That's, that's bullshit. But either way, you should watch Castlevania on Netflix. They should have called it Castlevania Prelude. 
because that's been the the number one criticism of the show. It's too short. It's not long enough. It's just 22 minutes of four episodes. And I'm like, if it was called Castlevania Prelude instead of Castlevania Season 1, maybe that criticism would have been lessened, you know, controlled. Also, Ka, I'm not editing this. Fuck you. Fuck me. This is gonna be the worst video I'll ever put out on the internet, maybe. Probably. Most likely. But you should watch it. I'm shilling for Netflix, because Netflix has been super nice to me. <laughs> Netflix was like, hey, I see you like Castlevania. I see you nerding over there about Castlevania, and I'm like, I love Castlevania. I was like, you should, you should, you know, let us, you know, hang out and stuff. And I'm like, give me a free year on Netflix and may maybe we'll talk about it, Netflix. I see you following me on Twitter. This is true. Netflix is following me on Twitter for some reason. I don't know why. I, I, I really don't know why. I'm kind of afraid of saying shit now. <laughs> I'm like, Netflix, please. I know that you're just a corporate entity and not a real person, but a real person is handling your, your account. So I'm, I'm, I just want to respect that employee. But uh, uh, why are you following me? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about Castlevania Netflix all the time, bro. Unless season two is on, on the other corner, on the owl corner, then then maybe we'll talk. Maybe we'll talk, and we'll talk more about Castlevania, cause I love that shit. I love that shit. I eat it for breakfast. I like taking out my whip. I whip my own butt, and I go ooh, and then I go whip Dracula's ass, and he goes ah. <laughs> <laughs> or ah it's been a very bad year <laughs> so far it's been eight months of pull of, of just pure madness i wanted to end already i wanted to stop i want to live like a normal adult with friends and family that loves and cares about me and not a not an entire world on fucking fire uh-huh is that okay this video is a safe zone none of that shit in here we just want to talk about Castlevania. Oh, don't, don't watch Castlevania if you're squeamish of gore and violence. Because uh, it has a lot of that. Like, it has actual babies getting killed. So uh, maybe don't watch it if, if you can't handle that shit. Like, if you're extremely shaken by it, then, then don't, don't watch it. That's just my warning for you. But other than that, I think you're going to like it because it has really good voice acting. It's extremely hammy. Just like the freaking video games. Like a lot of people don't realize that Castlevania actually has some story in it until you play it and then you go, this story is fucking stupid. Like it's really stupid. That's that's another criticism I've heard around. Like they should have started with Lament of Innocence. And I'm like, are you are you serious? Because this this Netflix Castlevania is way better than Lament of Innocence. Lament of Innocence starts out with the very first Belmont called Leon Belmont. And he's like, I'm gonna kill Dracula. He's not created yet, but we see like an origin story of Dracula. His first name was like Matthias or some bullshit. But that's not the point. The point is, if you've ever played Bionic Commando, the 2000s one, the 2006 something Bionic Commando, if you've ever played that game, it's literally that plot. It's so bad. It's awful. It's terrible. He basically has his girlfriend die and she, her soul uh, consecrates the, the whip and that's why it's the vampire killer. It's the worst. It's just awful. Like, at least Lord, Lords of Shadow called it the Vampire Killer because it killed a vampire. Like, fuck. Nah. Anyway, I'm glad they did not adapt that story and they, they wanted to adapt Castlevania 3, which has more interesting characters and a plot line that you can follow with Symphony of the Night and shit and Rondo of Blood. I want that shit. That's all the shilling I'm going to give it to on Netflix. Give me a free subscription. I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh, hey, I, I see you're still around here. Maybe you should uh, follow my Twitter or Tumblr or DeviantArt, whatever you feel comfortable with. Or maybe subscribe to this channel, even though I really occasionally update it. Anyway, you, you honor me for just existing. What, why, am I, why am I whispering? Can somebody explain why I'm, I'm, I'm whispering into the mic? That's kind of creepy. Uh, <laughs>